Welcome everybody, this is the other Robert. We're going to take a look at a cemetery that a friend of mine wanted me to find for her. And unfortunately she passed away before I could uh, show it to her, but I think I found it today. And I've been walking, a lot of walking. But uh, we're fixing a step, it's right here behind me. We just found it, so let's go take a look at it. Okay, so we are walking down this road and you see these tire tracks, there's a truck been down here. I was told that this road would get me stuck. Look how high these banks are. And you'll notice that a truck has been down in here. And my producer, who said that the Chevrolet wouldn't make it down in here, but look, someone made it in here with a truck. Look at those high banks right there. Oh, yeah. I believe we could bring the old Chevrolet down here. Look how high that bank is. What is it, 20 foot? 22 feet up there? Okay. Wow. So we're walking down into a swamp. We've been looking for this cemetery that someone told us about. And they said it's on a road that I can't, I can't, uh, drive to but you'll see tire tracks you know what those could be four uh not four wheelers what do you call them side by sides that could be what that all-terrain vehicle maybe that's what those tracks are look at this big old that's 30 foot right there isn't it look at all those holes where mud daubers or something has built bees look you can see the little bees i don't know if i can get close enough to it there's some bees Digging little holes right there in the side of the soil right there. Isn't that something? Yeah. That's neat. That's every bit of 25 feet right there. So we're going downhill. Steady going downhill. Walking in this old southwest Georgia red clay or red clay mixed with a little bit of sand. We're going to walk. Walking moss in that tree right there. We're going to find that cemetery. This road is about two miles long, and I'm thinking that it's not too far. Someone said right around a curve, but they didn't say which curve it was. We'll just keep walking and videoing. Magnolia tree up there, a couple of them. Keeps dropping off. Someone put their initials in there. Oh my goodness. We got to delete that. <laughs> we might have to delete that, Robert. Bad little kids. Look at the different layers of soil. Sedimentary soil right there. See that layer? Different layers, another layer right there. Well. Here's where someone turned around in that truck or utility vehicle. Looks a little bit rough down there. We're gonna keep on walking. Look at those bees right there. Some kind of a bee sucking up some water right there. Coming out of the spring that's being fed out of this hill right here. All right, look at this clay right here, y'all. I'm fixing to dig this clay up right here. This is the kind of clay I think you can make pottery out of. Oh yeah, look at that clay. Not that one, but this yellowish looking clay right here. What do you call, a producer, what do you call that clay? Lizella? Lizella, terracotta. Terracotta clay. That's what that is right there. No, that, that, oh wait, you got yellow clay. Yeah, so that's not terracotta. Look at the pink. So what it, I remember someone telling me, it may have been, I don't know if it was Brian or someone used to go down and dig it up down in, uh, my little Grand Canyon. Yeah, here we go again. Getting further. We've been going downhill for the last quarter of a mile. Three-eighths of a mile. Walking steady downhill. I believe. I believe the 57 Chevy could have made it in here. Look, someone bottom. No. Did someone bottom out there? In their four-wheeler? Deer. Deer was running down through here. It sure does look slick, doesn't it? yeah steady going down the hill 
I just thought about something. We got to go back up the hill. Look at this neat formation of clay, how it's swirled and settled. See the, let me get the grains right here. So over, I don't know how many million years ago, this was the ocean floor. It settled just like that. Isn't that pretty cool? Now it's starting to flatten out. So I'm thinking that this may be a lot of magnolia trees around here. A lot of them. Someone turned around right here. Look. I guess he chicken now. I'm gonna walk up this way to look around. Just see what's up here by these magnolia trees. A lot of them up in there. Hey, there's an old you know what that is? That's an old road bed. An older road bed. Look. Look, y'all. An old road bed right there. That's an old road bed next to the new road bed. That's what that is right there. Y'all can tell that. I'll try and get out in there. Oh, stickers just got me. It's an old road bed right there. So here's a gate, and they told me that that cemetery was just past a gate but this cannot be the gate because they, they said i could see it so this is not the gate it's got to be another gate oh okay now this is all flat it's all leveled out here so this must be the lowest point right here the lowest point deer tracks everywhere i imagine when it's wet this is a bad road right here okay we've given up i think we've gone too far or we went in the wrong direction that's what i think All right, we see a swampy spot right over there. There's some water right there. It's gotta be a, a ditch or a, or a um, culvert or something. Now we're going up a hill again. Oh, well, looky there, would you? It's a bridge. You found a bridge. Magnet fishing time. Here's the bridge. Ooh. It's been a walk right here. We probably walked a mile and a half. Here's the bridge right here. Brooksville Mafia. <laughs> Brooksville Mafia is here. All right. Something jumped in the water right over there. This is the bridge right here. Find me a snake or something. Y'all hear that bird? Raccoon right there, isn't it? I guess that's a raccoon going up and down through there. All right, look here. Is that a coyote track right there? Oh yeah, that bone right there. Reminds me, I got a dentist appointment next week. Uh, I'm on it. Okay. Anyway, I think that's a coyote. This has been here a while. Yeah. It's someone dumped a deer out here. Anyway, I think that's a coyote track running. Uh, it's not a raccoon. I don't think it's a possum. Good question. What track is that? Anyway, we're getting armadillo. Dug that hole. We think we're getting close to it. We made an adjustment. And we think it's up this hill over here. So we're going to keep walking. We're going to find this cemetery because we have some real good directions here. If we can make it up this hill, we'll be good. If someone told us not to drive down this white road. 
They might have been they might have been right and smart. So let's see what we got here. Alright, let's walk up this way. So we've been down and back up. And we're gonna find it. It's a long road and it goes down to a creek, then it comes back up the other side of the hill. And uh, we think we know where we're going now. Take a look at this here on the way up. Sedimentary deposits. I don't know how many million years that is. Ocean floors settled over the over the many, many years. Look at that, would you? Two different kinds of soil. That's a harder one too. Use some lines right here. These lines right here. Different deposits in there. That's pretty cool. This is another interesting formation as we're going up this other side of this hill right here. I don't know if the sun's gonna do us any justice or not. The erosion is just caved up into there. I guess pretty soon this tree and all this is going to just come down one day after a big heavy rain. Fall down in the road. So we think we're getting close here. I see an opening. I see some old trees there. We're going to check it out and see. I think this is it right here. Yep, it is. Sure is. That's it right there. Yeah, this is it. Watch that bob wire right there. It's a family cemetery. And uh, I've been looking. It's been nine months ago I was going to go look for this one. Here it is. Wow. The fence is completely intact, which is rare. Usually they've been smashed by a fallen tree or a... A log skid, look at that old tree right there. It's gonna actually that's gonna break off one day and fall down through there, but got some moss hanging off the tree. Let's go take a look at the gate. Gate still on the hinges. There's a this land, look at the latch on there. That's a new bolt. Someone has been here to work on it. Look at the latch, let's open it up. Let's look at the detail first of the gate. Oh yeah. This is a timberland. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at the detail right there on that rod that's holding it in there. Is that not neat? Cute little acorn. Yeah, acorn, that's an acorn. And this little flower buds right here, right? Mm -hmm. These right here. That is cool. Open the gate up. Here's part of the gate that broke off, it looks like. I don't know what that is, this might be the handle. We'll go this way first. W.D. Whaley, born July 8, 1815, died February 10th, 18, possibly 80, and I cannot make none of that out down here. Your eyes any better? Bring the good eyes up here. Coming in. Our father, it says there. Our father, W.D. Whaley. Whaley born, well, maybe July. July 8th. 8, 1815. 15 died. July. Oh. Did I say July or right. February? I think it's July. Is that helping? No, probably not. Anyway, right we know, we know this is the, in the reason it's faded. 1880 though. 1880, yeah. Weather, it's been weathered. Here's a broken one right next to it. And I don't know. And this is on some timberland. And there's a hunting club. The rest of the stone's gone. There's a hunting club that I think comes in here and keeps this cleaned up. It says, is it say our daughter or what? I can't make that out. Can you make that out? Oh, something. Wow, we're blind. Yeah. Our mother? M.W. Wiley, born December 13th, 13th 1820, 20. died ooh, 
It's hard down there. Maybe that's an OCT. Uh, October. One, and then 18, one eight. 18's two. Two something. Oh, I don't know. And there's a lot. There's some. Or an there's eight. an epitaph it's 18, there. It's probably 1880. 80 something. I think that's mother. Yeah. I think that's the mother. Oh, Civil War soldier. Let's let's read him. Second Lieutenant John D. Whaley, Wooten's Company, 15th Georgia Cavalry, CSA. And there's the there's the emblem on there. There's a little damage right there. I've seen Wooten's Company quite a bit here in the 20-mile uh, radius of where I'm working right now. And here's another one right next to it. James Whaley, Private Bush's Company, 23rd, what is that? Uh, is that Regiment? Joe Hunt, is that Johans, South Carolina, Military War of 1812. Well, my hat is off to you, James. This is probably about the third or fourth War of 1812 soldier that I have have uh, had a chance to photograph of course we all know one of the first videos I did Major John Mitchell Jr. in Harris County Georgia was a officer in the War of 1812 James Whaley 1848 we salute you James and John nothing here market like i said a really good fence what do you think that is i mean it looks like it's sunken in it is could be and someone buried there the and there's it's something over the fence right here that looks like someone may have thrown a urn or something in we always look over the fences because sometimes there were burials outside the family cemetery either close and i don't see anything Amari? E M. And Mark? Heart? Is that a period? Wife F. Of, Is F that a period? F M Heart. Wife of. Hold on. H L. H L Heart. No. F M Heart. Wife of H L Heart. Whoa, is that a 35? It is. 35 years, 8 months, and 28 days. Look at the little cut design right there. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. Now here's a Masonic symbol right there. August 18th, 1888, age 49 years, 10 months, 22 days. Yeah. I was told this is the Whaley Family Cemetery. I don't know how the hearts got in there unless she was a Whaley. And if you remember the video that I did of the small town of, what was the name of it? Parrot in Terrell County. John L. Parrott, one of John L.'s sisters, married a Whaley. So that would probably be her. That's probably, that's probably John L. Parrott's sister, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. If you want to correct me, you can, please, in the comments. We'd love to hear your comments. Let's see what else we got here. Joni May Hart, May 24th, 1900. June 24th, 1900. God. One month. She lived a month. Poor child. And has on the back there. Daughter of J.H. and L.F. Hart. So that's the cemetery right there. Oh. That's the footstone for that one. You think there's an indention here and an indention there. The tree we know not. We know that think there's an indention here. We don't know about there. And I don't see anything outside. Like I said, the hunting club that leases this land from the timber company, they sort of keep it cleaned up a little bit, I think.
Okay, thank y'all for watching this little family cemetery right here, the Whaley family. Um, I wish my friend had lived long enough to get her over here to see it. She wanted to see it. There was a house that went with this. I don't know exactly where it's at. I think it's right down the road here. Most of it's gone. I'm trying to find a still picture of the old Whaley house. I may find one. If I do, I'll try and put it on there. And I'll try and link uh, maybe the Parrot uh, Founders video in here so you can find a little bit about his uh, sister. Just laid the rest right here. So thanks for watching uh, this video with the other Robert in, how does it go again? This hist Adventures in History, formerly Sidestep Adventures. Now it's the other Robert. Gosh, it's so complicated. Hold on a second. <laughs> Hold on a second. I wrote it down somewhere on a card. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I got it. Oh, here we go. Thank you for watching this video in Adventures in History with the other Robert. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, uh, ring the bell, and look at our links and comment. We'd love to hear your comments. And we will see you on the next Adventure in History.